FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, uh, Larry Pesavento, trade what you see and not what you think. And, boy, they're thinking red today, folks. The stock market's under a great deal of pressure. In fact, it's actually holding up pretty well considering all the news that's out there. I could not believe what I heard today that we are going to stop selling chips to China. Well, if we're going to stop selling chips to China, guess what China's going to do, folks? Since they own most of the rare earth uh, stuff that goes into these chips, They'll probably stop selling them to us. So it's just a big, big carousel. We keep going round and round. When it stops, nobody knows. But we've got possibilities of war with Ukraine, uh, with Russia and all this other stuff that's going on in the world. We've got a terrible situation going down there in Florida with all these people that are just absolutely devastated. But the world must go on. Now, I'm going to go back into history a little bit because... We live in interesting times right now, for sure. And I posted a chart of uh, January of, uh, this goes back many years, it's a monthly chart, but it's a monthly chart of crude oil. And as you can see up here at the top, this was Desert Storm. We were trading at roughly $41 a barrel. Now, that, that war uh, started on the uh, 17th of January, which was two days after a solar eclipse and a new moon. And I figured they would be attacking around that time because all the troops were in place. Norman Schwarzkopf, the chief commander of the armed forces in Europe and the Middle East, said that uh, he was a big, big, big fan of Sun Tzu, the art of war. He studied it when he was at, the, uh, 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 at West Point. And uh, so I knew that that's probably what was going to happen. But we had a three drive to a top there in the crude oil at $41 a barrel. We had the same three drive pattern in the gold at $450 an ounce. And then we also had the Dow Jones was making a major, major bottom at the 61% retracement. Well, what happened was I sold that. My daughter, Jill, was helping me in the office and uh, I had to get my hair cut. So I went to the the place where I usually go, and uh, it was about five minutes after four, and Jill called, and she said, uh, can I talk to Dad? I said, yeah. What's up, Jelly? She said, Daddy, she said, do you still have those positions on? And I said, yeah. She said, oh, Dad, she says, you're going to get killed. And I said, what's wrong? And she said, turn on the news. And by golly, guess what, folks? We'll be right back with more of the story when we get back to pay a few bills. So stay with me, please, and we'll be right back. 